I'm working on the uh, Whirlpool ice maker and I've already taken it apart taking the uh, four screws out here to lift this panel off and there's a connector here that you can remove now these wires here this is a, a goes to two different switches there's a on off switch and a switch that senses whether the the bin is installed and together they form a they're in series together they form a uh, a circuit here that when both switches are satisfied the, the uh, pins are connected together to form a short so basically if you wanted to test it without that you could just short these two pins out and in my case the, uh, the machine quit making ice and I found that it was frozen right in this area right here so what I found is that this is where the water comes in down into the ice trays here and what I found is that if you look up in there you can see there's a green opening and that green opening had frozen shut I could see uh, ice frozen up in it and so what I did I took a copper wire and heated it with this heat gun here just a copper wire heated it up and then I brought the wire over and worked it up into the hole and I could feel it immediately go in and and also I could see water coming out and so I just worked that a little bit and then I took the heat gun and uh, on low heat careful not to uh, melt the plastic but I uh, took the heat gun and uh, applied some heat up inside the opening there and then worked it again with the uh, the copper wire until I have it freed. And so now I think the, the uh, you can see water's coming out now. It's melting out of there and dripping down here. So I think it might be ready to go now. So now that I believe I have the ice maker fixed, I'm going to put all the fasteners in. I had taken these two fasteners out and I didn't need to. They hold the ice machine mechanism and I didn't need that removed. But I didn't know, I'd never been in this before. There's really just four screws that hold the cover on right here and they're Phillips screws. So it's pretty simple, four screws and this one little connector is all it takes to get in there to work on it. And the easiest thing to do is stick your hand right through this opening, support the uh, case and make the connection, and then just slide this in place. And then put the four screws in. The four screws are Phillips and they have a white finish on them. And I usually just use a uh, a hand screwdriver in this situation. A power screwdriver uh, would be a little too much for the plastic I think. It's not that you don't have to put these very tight. And while I had it out I did uh, verify with an ohmmeter that this switch on and that switch uh, complete a, a circuit and activate the, uh, the ice machine to begin to work. Now I'm just going to drop, I've also got some some wax paper in there that I'm going to use to that I want to know if it's making ice because I'll have ice on top of the wax paper. So it's on now, I'm just going to put that in, close it up and we'll see what happens. So I think I have the ice machine repaired. It's going to take a maybe several hours or even a day for it to begin to make ice but I think I found the problem and uh, hoping it's gonna start making ice again thanks for watching the video and thanks for clicking the like and subscribe and hope it was helpful to you and it's really not that complicated the ice machine is very simple easy to get to and 
hopefully it's gonna work. It's a brand new machine. This refrigerator is only, uh, it's probably not even a year old. And uh, these kind of things happen, I guess. I, uh, we turned it off when we were changing the filter because we didn't want it to try to make ice before we had the carbon flushed out. And evidently, it didn't like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care.